Hello, my friends. It's Nancy Bastine. <clears throat> Do you remember this? This was the pour I did. I'm not sure whether I did this one on camera or not, but I think I showed it in... I don't remember. But anyway, it's been drying and everything, so... Now what I want to do is put some varnish on it. I'm going to put some of this DuraClean Americana High Gloss Varnish and get it ready because I want to hang this in my living room. I do. I don't know if I want to do it this way or this way. But my living room needs some color. Oops. I have an avalanche here. It's fine. Didn't go anywhere. So... I just thought I'd come on and do the varnishing with you guys. First of all, i got to get my chair situated. I have to get my donut in my chair right. So my bum won't be sore. So I'm just going to pour some on and then spread it around. And I'm going to use a sponge brush so I don't get a whole lot of uh, brush strokes and we're going to see how this looks and if it's pretty enough I will put it in my living room for everybody to see I didn't sign it though I guess I should sign it huh oh well I can say it's mystery art. Mystery art. It's kind of warped a little bit. But that's okay. I didn't have quite a... Um, level place for it to dry on. That's my problem is I don't have a level like this table is humped in the middle where it um, it folds it folds down it's not one solid table it folds in half and I can't see if I've gotten it all and replace on it. So I'm going to try and go back and forth on it. Maybe put a little bit. I don't want to have big globs on it. Do any of you guys watch Anna and Marie with her pores? I'm sure you all do. I didn't get any little cells with this. And I use silicone spray. And I did not get any little cells when I torched it. But my torch was, I couldn't get my torch working right. But now I figured it out. I didn't have enough butane in it. Now I figured it out. And I, the blue one that I poured on camera with you guys, it turned out to be a big mess. It cracked. It's because I didn't have the right stuff in it. I put glaze in it and... That wasn't the right stuff to do. I'm going to put a little more varnish on this. And hopefully I can find a level place for this to sit to dry. Because I want it to be pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. I have a few more canvases that are a little bit bigger than this canvas boards and I got my money from Google AdSense yay my first one I got paid it's always fun to get your first one I guess it's exciting so I'm gonna get some pouring medium with that I do have full trawl but and that's what I used in this one. But I want to get the good stuff. And I want to get some 
silica, liquid silicone and not have to fool with the other the spray silicone give that to my neighbor so he can spray his wheels on his lawn mower I guess I don't know I'll hang it or keep it hanging around for I don't know for some reason okay I'm gonna look at this pick it up and look at it in the light I'll make sure I get all the edges and see what it if it's like everything is covered so I'm just gonna do like that hang it around and see I see a bubble there I see strokes strokes in it but I don't know how else to do it without getting how do you varnish it without getting strokes in it? Pour it on and roll it around. I was showing it to my husband and I stuck my finger in it to see if it was dry and it wasn't so there's a spot on the top but you know what I don't care. It's just for me. All right, that looks good. All right, guys, I'm gonna get my other one and show you my what the other one looks like because I'll show you how it cracked and yeah. Then I gotta find a place for this to sit and dry. I'll be right there. I'm coming. This one turned out so pretty, so very, very pretty, and I still didn't get any cells because I wasn't using the right oil. But look how it cracked. See? It cracked. I'm probably going to still hang it on the wall down here. I'm going to varnish it and hang it down here in my craft room just so I can see what happens when you don't use the right material. It cracks yep it did these were two pieces of chipboard medium weight chipboard that were glued together because I didn't want to waste any more of my canvases and that and was going to turn out a flop but anyway yeah that's it's beautiful it's a beautiful pour I just wish it hadn't have cracked Oh well. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll be back when this is dry. It'll be two, three days and I'll be back to show you. Bye bye. I decided to come back on and varnish this one with you. That was unfair of me, huh? Decided I'd go ahead and varnish this and uh, be with you guys. Talk to you. Don't know what I'm going to tell you been really sick again I don't know what's going around here if it's a virus is going around but I was sick for two days and then I yesterday I was running a temperature so I don't know everything was going straight through me without stopping and going to jail I think I put too much varnish on this one I poured too much on this one and it's going to be thick in places. I shouldn't have done that. I should have put it probably in a little dish. Oh well. It's ruined anyway so I thought it was a beautiful pour. Beautiful colors. 
and I'm probably going to try it again once I get my pouring medium and my silicone and I'm going to go ahead and order those I, I had to just go down to the art store and see if they have it it's not too far from me and then I got stop at Tuesday morning ha 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 go pay the rent yeah well, it's five o'clock can't pay the rent now I think the bank is closed oh well pay it tomorrow okay so I got that done and I'm not even gonna keep this brush because I'm just not going to fool with it. Just, they're a dime a dozen, so I'm just going to toss it in the garbage because I don't have anything else to varnish right now. If I had some beads, oh, by the way, I'm going to cut up some of that paper that I made the other day that I called magic paper. I'm going to cut some of that up and see if I what um, kind of beads come out of it. Should we do that together? I'll get some cut up and then I'll be back on and we'll make some beads together. And see how they turn out. Alright, now I'm going to go and I will see you when these get dry in a week or so. <laughs> no, I'll be back. Bye-bye.